You imagine being able to power your house while keeping fit. One entrepreneur in Cameroon has come up with a bike that pretty much does exactly that. Africa's electricity needs, to put it simply, are enormous. We need about $40 billion every single year just to invest that in national power grids. But this entrepreneur has a different idea. He believes that instead of relying on massive funders, simple solutions like this, the power bike, can be found. CGTN's Julie Shire has this report. Bonga Juminditsi spent many nights learning by candlelight in his home village in Cameroon. It all started when I was very small. I was in secondary school in the village. I did not uh, have electricity to read at night. So because of that, I would use uh, kerosene lamps and candles to read. Some of my friends even got their houses burned down, you know, from the fire that came from those uh, dirty energy sources. But he knew he would one day find a solution to help millions who have no electricity, especially in the rural areas. The idea came to him while he was cycling at the gym. I remember the first law of conservation of energy that says energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transferred or converted from one form to another. I started thinking on how I can convert all this energy that I've been wasting in the gym into useful form of energy. That is how I assembled a team of technician, renewable energy experts to be able to create this power bike. The power bike converts kinetic energy created by pedaling into electricity which can help light up a home. We are trying to do to electricity while what mobile phones did to communication in Africa. So we are giving the power of electricity production to the hands of the masses. With 30 minutes of pedaling, you are able to pedal seven bulbs for 12 hours. And you can charge phones, you know, you can even power your some fans and even TV with it. Indizi showed off his invention at the Energy Endowment in Johannesburg, where decentralizing power dominated discussions. These uh, centralized systems take a lot of time. You will find out it takes you about two, three years to do the impact assessment, to get the licensing in place. But you can do a solar system that can power about 10,000 homes in less than a year. Africa's power needs are mounting with a burgeoning population, but innovations like Power Bike could be the key to unlocking solutions for the continent where 600 million Africans still live without power. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.